Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Medias on Gaming. I know it's been a while, um, and good reason for that. Um, one of the first reasons is that I don't want to make, like I sometimes do, but I, I don't really want to make uh, content on video games other than like Call of Duty for two reasons. One, algorithm, and two, I don't want single player games and guilty pleasure games i guess to become work and uh i already have enough of that going on in my life so i kind of want to just cover that like, call of duty and stuff but um we'll see how that goes who cares but uh the second part is is that there's just nothing to talk about in vanguard because dude <sighs> what time is it now 10 a.m in the morning on wednesday and i have the morning off and i'm like you know what i gotta do some grinding on ship miss and then i said that yesterday and i said that the day before and i said that the day before and i said that the day before i was like i'm not gonna go to airsoft i'm not gonna go out i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna spend time with my my significant other because i need to do this grind because it's two times xp and i know that's an addictive mindset to say but god fucking damn it this game demands so much of my time. If I want to enjoy this goddamn game, or if I want to enjoy Warzone, and I want to have the guns and weapons to be able to use whatever I want in Warzone, which is what I like to do primarily, aside from the multiplayer and play with my friends, I have to put in all this goddamn work, I guess, brain dead grinding for Vanguard. You can forget about getting atomic camo. Forget about that. Just getting your weapons to 70 is enough of a grind. You know what's funny? Sledgehammer Games was like, you know what? Let's uh, let's give these men a grind. Let's give them something to do and you'll be rewarded for that You're not gonna be rewarded for grinding. You're gonna be able to play the fucking game Of Warzone, which is the real Call of Duty now. Let's be real here You're gonna be able to play that game at a viable level because you know You you spent nine hours per gun leveling in Vanguard on ship miss And it's just like what am I gonna make videos about? Oh, here I got here, guys. I'm just gonna make a video about uh, uh, fucking leveling weapons and leveling weapons. I just finished doing the SMGs. I just finished doing the assault rifles. Like, what's that? I don't care about doing the news. I don't care about being like bug ridden videos, like blame truth or anything like that. I don't really care about that kind of stuff. I only care about making fun videos, I suppose, or complaints. But I, I feel like I gotta make this video because it's just like <sighs> it's just. I'm not even frustrated like it's not even that bad. It's just like what does it come to like I enjoyed playing the core Multiplayer that I enjoyed playing the 16 maps at launch. I enjoyed playing every different kind of you know map and stuff like that but then at the end of the day every game just ends up Being like wow, why am I playing this when I should be playing? Shipment so I can be leveling up my weapons or doing camel challenges. So it's like hey, okay So you finished leveling up the STG, right? And now it's like, okay, cool Not gonna actually play the game with this thing. He's like, oh, but I feel like I can get these challenges done faster And be able to enjoy the freedom of the game if I go to shipment Right as a result everybody else is thinking the same thing too So after I grinded for seven hours yesterday leveling up my SMGs and stuff I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go play some actual Vanguard now I'm gonna actually go and play the actual multiplayer tactical pacing whatever and just enjoy the game for what it is i couldn't find a game peak time 9 p.m here in japan i couldn't find a game that wasn't shipment it was just shipment just shipment literally just shit i had to like lobby shop like six times just to find a regular game of team deathmatch because everybody just playing shipment because that's all you got to do and that's all this game is it's literally just a grind so you can play warzone but now i can't even play warzone because of adult problems and stuff like that nobody's really playing it in my friend group Nobody wants to play with me on the Call of Duty server because I have high ping and then people wouldn't want to play on 150 ping. So, I, I, I feel like I'm just playing it for the sake of it. And why, you may be asking like, well, okay, so just don't grind the game. Why are you doing that? I was like, well, I want to be able to play the game casually, you know, when the year, when the, in year 2022, right? But I can't do that if my guns are not half level, then I'm not competitive at all. I'm just dying to everybody. I feel bad for the casual player. Who can only play this game for like two hours a day. Maybe one. There's no way, bro. There's no way they're going to be able to get their guns to whatever level that is. Even Plunder. I think I did the little bit of the Plunder glitch. The four times XP. I did that like once. And I was able to get a gun finished. But that was it. And then they patched it. And it's funny because fucking Raven and Sledgehammer are patching the exploits in the game faster 
then they are patching the game broke the, the game breaking stuff in this game and i'm not even that mad i'm not even that mad i'm just kind of like sad I'm disappointed bro like i was expecting it to be cheese but like not this cheese bro I don't want to play the game and I feel like I'm wasting my time if I'm not going after a challenge, right? And the best way to go after a challenge is to play Shipment. I hate Das House. I hate Das House. But Shipment, man. It's just Shipment. This game is literally just Shipment. And Shipment is full of fire bombs the entire time. Like, why do they add that? Why? Why? I literally have to play my game on lowest. Like, literally lowest preset in order to get frames on that fucking map. And I, I think... If I didn't reset my router, and I hate resetting my router because I had to reset the MAC address every time for port forwarding because this game has terrible matchmaking. Um, and more for me to do that, I had to reset it. And it, before I did that, I didn't want to do it because it's annoying, but I was getting packet bursts the entire time. The entire time on shipment. But now it's fixed because I actually ended up doing it and fixing up my internet. But like, God fucking damn it. It just feels like I'm playing Final Fantasy 14. And that's what this is. This game is an MMO. All right, it's an MMO level grind. It does not mix with the dollhood. And the only reason I'm doing this is because um, in January I'm gonna be getting a new job, and I'm gonna be actually having an adult job, I guess. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna have that much time to play. So I gotta use my winter break for my two weeks off, and I gotta grind the shit out of this game so I can have that freedom to enjoy the game for the rest of the year, 2022, without having to grind so hard. That's the only way, the only thing I can do. And it feels sad, like it doesn't feel like Christmas at all, because like you know what, I'm just gonna. Fucking well, I don't have any family here in Japan, so it's just like AK, it's gonna grind guns, I guess, and go play airsoft, right? I guess I can make commentaries about other videos, but like nobody's gonna watch that shit because like nobody watches this channel anyway, but you know, algorithm doesn't like varieties, they like you know, consistency with content stuff. But this game, man. It's just a grind. It's literally just Maple Story. I feel like I'm playing Maple Story. I'm listening to videos, watching podcasts, or whatever, the other way around. And that's all I'm doing. Just brain deading this shit. I finally finished ARs, and I finally finished SMGs. Now what? I have to do shotguns. I have to do snipers. I have to do LMGs. I have to do marksman's rifles. I to, then I have to do melee. No, you have to do melee. Then I have to do pistols. I already finished launchers. Thank God. I got everything is done except the pounds are fast for gold anyway. So I got a bunch of categories I still got to do. So I'm going to be playing a lot of fucking shipment. I really hope they change the curves. I remember before I used to just do it on plunder. But apparently plunder is like bugged or something like that. So I don't know. Luckily two times experience is done now. And I don't have any more coupons. So like there's no urge to play the game. And I feel like I'm being manipulated. And I know I'm being manipulated to play in the game during two times experience. This is exactly what they want, right? The game's not doing well. They want you to increase, you know, the player retention and stuff. Because they're forcing your hand. And I feel manipulated, but it's, you can't be helped. That's all you can do. If you want to enjoy Warzone and you play the game casually, you have to put in this fucking time. Or buy blueprints. I'm not buying blueprints. Speaking of which, these blueprints suck. They're all trash. The freaking uh, Luminescence MP40, I thought that was super cool. I was like, I'm going to buy that shit, even though I don't have any money. And then I looked at it, and then I saw like uh, on Twitter, it literally looks like jeans. It's a jeans camo. The Mastercrafts. There's no weapon inspects in the game. Why don't they have weapon specs in the game? Because the game is incomplete. The core gameplay is fun. It's a fun game at its core. But it's just riddled with developmental issues and lack of quality of life shit. And it's not going to be fixed because the fucking holidays are They just came back from the holidays. And I know I mean, so I'm, supposed to feel, I'm supposed to feel bad for the developers and stuff. But the casual player, they don't give a shit. Nobody cares about the problems at the studios. Man, just come home, turn on the PS5, and play the game. Nobody cares about the backstory. You only care about the backstory if you're actually involved in the community, but 95% of the players don't care about that shit. So, like, why should I care, too? I'm not expected to care, but... It feels like they're sabotaging the game at this point, man. They just came back from a week-long vacation, which felt, which felt like a goddamn eternity, and now they're going to be gone for two weeks. Because the holidays are up. And, you know, you gotta have their holidays too. But, goddamn, at least leave the game in, like, a good state before you go. At least fix the XP, man. This is just insane. It's just absolutely insane how, how much you have to grind in this game. Spend my morning. I feel like, remember when you go to, like, Final Fantasy fourteen? You gotta do your dailies every day? That shit takes, like, two hours a day. That's what it feels like I'm doing right now. 
And it's still gonna go for atomic camo. I still kind of want it because I don't want to buy bundles. I don't want to have a cool camo to flex with my friends. If I can even play with my friends, I don't know. I got some gameplays here, guys. Um, I got a, I got a few fun moments in Warzone. We actually had a lot of fun. I'm gonna be posting clips of that hopefully after this video, and then some Warzone wins and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Actually, I know what you think. This game's a grind.